your vlogger from Humes 11B, and today, let's talk about health behaviors. Generally, the term health behavior is defined as the activity undertaken by individuals for the purpose of maintaining or enhancing their health, preventing health problems, or achieving a positive body image. With that being said, it is important to take good care of our bodies and live a healthy lifestyle to avoid getting sick. So today, I will be enumerating five wellness tips which you can follow that are actually based on good science. Tip number one is to stay hydrated. Now I know you're probably thinking, oh my gosh, wow, how original, stay hydrated, we all know that. Some people are actually unaware that it is important to drink water, especially 30 minutes before meals because it can boost the number of calories that you burn. It also helps lessen your sugar intake because you can opt to drink this instead of sugary drinks that add unnecessary carbs. Keep in mind that fruit juices may be just as bad as soda because sometimes it contains just as much sugar. A little story time, I haven't been drinking soda since 2019 because back then I tried to um, stay away from it for a month because I was, you know, I was during that time I was trying to be healthy. But then after that month was over, I tried to drink soda again, but then I didn't like the taste anymore. Maybe because I wasn't used to drinking soda anymore and I felt like my stomach was burning. So if you want to stay away from it, just like I did, maybe you can try to stay away from it for two weeks and trust me, it's not as difficult as it seems. Tip number two is to get some sleep. This is one of the pillars of health and yes, I am well aware that all of us are sleep deprived right now because of the amount of workload that we have, but always remember that whenever we try to rest, we are actually doing ourselves a favor. Poor sleep can reduce your physical and mental performance. Meanwhile, good sleep improves concentration and productivity. Yes, I admit, I am one of those people who stay up until 4 a.m. And all of my friends know that because I talk to them during that time. And it's not something that I'm very proud of, but I hope that I would be able to fix it one day. Um, I know it's going to take time, but we'll eventually get there. Tip number three is do not overcook meat. Meat is actually a nutritious and healthy part of our diet because it is high in protein and contains a lot of nutrients that our body needs. Complications may occur if we burn or overcook the meat that we consume because it can lead to the formation of harmful compounds that may increase the risk of cancer. When cooking, we should learn the proper way on how it should be cooked. Another one is that white meat, such as poultry and fish, are healthier options compared to red meat like beef and pork because it contains less saturated fats. Tip number four is do not go on a diet. Diets do work for a little amount of time, however, it does not work in the long run, especially when a person is having a hard time trying to maintain it. Everything would eventually go to waste once they've started to go back to their old habits and if they did lose weight while they were on a diet, most likely they would gain that weight back. Last but not the least, tip number five is to engage more in physical activities. Physical activities have long-term benefits that can improve the quality of your life. It doesn't have to be intense because increases in daily activity can come from small changes made throughout your day, such as walking or cycling instead of using the car. We can also do at least 30 minutes of physical activity at home. Make sure you do something that you enjoy. In that way, you won't even feel how long you've been exercising because you love what you're doing. So choose a sport or a certain activity that would suit you. These are just some of the small changes that you can incorporate in your lifestyle. Even though these tips sound simple enough, applying them won't happen overnight. So give yourself some time to get used to it and remember that small progress is still progress. I hope this video has inspired you to live a healthier lifestyle. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you so much for watching. Bye! Thank you.
Listen some more.